Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be going over how to enroll a Schlage Z-Wave door lock into the IQ2 system. So the first thing you want to do, I actually have mine already installed here, but um, the first thing you want to do before you install the system is on the back of your Z-Wave door lock, there's a sticker that's going to have the programming code. You want to make sure that you save that programming code because that's what we're going to use to enable the Z-Wave function so that we can clear it and then add it onto the system. All right. So I actually went ahead and removed this before the video and you guys should be able to see the close up right now. And you'll see that on the back of the sticker, there's a programming code. There's you, there's like a user code one and a user code two. The one that we need right now is just the programming code. Okay because what we're actually going to be doing once we get the programming code and we get the Z-Wave door lock learned into the Quolsys system we're actually going to push the codes from the Quolsys system down to the Z-Wave door lock that way you guys can actually just use the codes from your alarm system that you use to arm and disarm and you can just learn them into the Z-Wave door lock so you can enter in your code there and at the same time you unlock your door lock it can also disarm the system these are just features that you can do and if you guys are monitored and have the alarm.com service application you guys can also do it from the app as well so make sure as you saw in this video make sure that you get the programming code from the back of the z-wave door lock all right once you have that sticker go ahead and finish installing everything and then at the end of the installation you should have your z-wave door lock mounted on your door and i have mine on a plank so it looks like this right now the lock is currently out and then the front shows you the touchscreen keypad. So I'm going to leave it facing this way now because I will need this so that I can learn it into the system. Uh, the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is get right to the IQ2. So on the IQ2, go ahead and scroll down from the top or just press that top button. Hit settings. We're going to go to advanced settings and it's going to ask me for a code. Enter user code. We need to enter in the dealer or the installer code. Mine is defaulted so I can use 1111 or 2222. I'm going to use 1111. Now, obviously, yours may be different if you or your company has changed it, so make sure you use the correct code. All right, after we do that, we go to installation. We're going to be installing a device, and it's a Z-Wave device. And the first thing you do whenever you're learning in any Z-Wave devices, whether it's a door lock, light, a garage door controller, thermostat, the first thing you need to do is clear it. Why? Because because if they've been factory tested and, you know, sometimes they don't default the whole product right from the factory, you may have information in there from a previous device or Z-Wave hub. So you need to make sure that you clear it completely. All right. So we're going to go ahead and hit clear device. It's going to put the panel into a learning mode. This is where I'm going to use my programming code, which I believe was 9259790. You'll see that yellow light. I hit zero after I see that light. The light is from the and that enables my Z-Wave function, which then sends a ping out and the panel picks up on it and it clears the device. I'm just going to hit OK since it says device has been cleared from the network successfully. Now we got to do the same code on there, but we have to put the panel now in an inclusion mode, which is an adding, adding a device, right? So we hit add device. We hit include. It's going to start searching, which means I have to now enter in my programming code again. The yellow circle or the yellow light, I hit zero, sends it through. And again, every lock is going to be different. Your programming code is going to be different from my programming code. So make sure you guys are using the one according to your Z-Wave lock, okay? Um, now, as you see, it already automatically gave it the type, which is the door lock. It gave it a Z-Wave ID, which is 10. For the front door, for the name, since I already have a front door, door, door lock, I can't name it front door. I'm just going to name it side door, right? So this is going to be my, my Schlage Z-Wave door lock. It's going to be my side door. I'm going to go ahead and hit add. Side door is added to successfully. Now, you see I have a front door, garage door, and my side door, which is my Schlage Z-Wave lock. I'm going to back out to the home screen. And if you just scroll to the right to get to your automation screen, you should just be able to scroll up or down between your locks. You'll see my side door right now is currently showing locked, which is why this deadbolt is out. All right? If I tap on this, it will unlock it. It'll send the command to the Z-Wave Schlage lock, and then it'll unlock it. 
which I'll show you guys how to do that right now. All right. All right, so I'm going to just go ahead and hit the on, un, unlock key on the actual IQ2. And again, like I said, this is deadbolt lock will go back in. Side door unlocked, it announces it, and the lock went in. So now you've unlocked your front door or your side door. Um, again, this is stuff that you can also control through the app. So if you are being monitored, or if you're looking for monitoring services, we actually do monitor these systems and we do have alarm.com plans that you can sign up for so that you can actually control your Z-Wave door locks remotely. This is, comes in handy, especially um, if you ever need to let anyone in, if your, kids, if your kids are coming back home from school, if you need to let a family member into the house and you have a front door lock, you can always just control your Z-Wave lock directly from the app, all right? so. It looks like the lock went into a lock mode on its own, but again, just so you guys can see, if I just hit the unlock button, sends the command through, and again, if I just lock it up, after I'm done, after my guest leaves the house, I can go ahead and lock it back up and arm the system directly from the app. All right, um, and uh, that was basically just a quick tutorial on how to learn in the Schlage lock. Now remember again, I'm going to repeat this one more time. The programming code is different for every Z-Wave Schlage lock. Um, the user codes that get sent to the panel, you can actually enable the user codes from the keypad or from the IQ2 to be sent down to the lock. But you have to make sure you enable that and you can do that through the app or directly from the panel. If you guys have any questions on how to do any of this, or if you guys are running into any trouble, email us at support at alarmgrid.com. Make sure you hit like if you, if you found this video helpful, subscribe to the channel, and also enable notifications so whenever we upload new content, you do get notified. My name is George, and I'll see you guys next time.